Let's solve a geometry problem from the 2018 Ukraine National Mathematical Olympiad, where the problem states that in a cube angle triangle ABC, AH is an altitude and AM is a median. Points X and Y lies on the lines AB and AC respectively, such that AX is equal to XC and AY is equal to YB. And we want to prove that the midpoint of x, y is equidistant from m and h. So to begin, I want to define three points, which are the point z is the point such that is the midpoint of x, y. And then e is a point in a, b such that y, e is perpendicular to the line AB. E is a point in AC such that XD is perpendicular to AC. So these two angles are 90 degrees. And then now, since the triangles XDY and triangle XEY share the line XY, and also angle XEY is equal to the angle XEY, which is 90 degrees. We know that the quadrilateral XEDY is cyclic. And also Z is the circumcenter of the quadrilateral. So therefore, EZ is equal to DZ. So let me draw it here. They are both the same length. Now, we also know that the angle AHB is 90 degrees, since AH is an altitude. And also, because E is the midpoint of the line AB, Similarly, EH is equal to EB is equal to EA, which is the half of the length of AB. Or you can also note that E is the circumcenter of the triangle ABH. But then now, since D and M are midpoints of AC and BC. EM is also the same as the half length of the line AB because DM is the mid segment of the triangle ABC. So this implies that the length EH is equal to the length DM. Therefore, let me draw it here. So actually now, if we want to show that the midpoint of x, y, which is z, is equidistant from the points h and m, we can actually show that the triangles EHZ is congruent to the triangles DMZ. If we can show that, then automatically HZ is equal to MZ, which proves our problem. So in order to show that this is true, we can actually show that the angle HEZ is equal to the angle ZDM. Since if we can show that this is true, then by the SAS condition, we have our congruency between these two triangles. Before we move on, maybe I will leave a claim to you guys to prove it. Where we have the quadrilateral BC, XY is also cyclic. And post in the comments if you have proof for this. So moving on, we have that the angle HEZ is equal to the angle HEB plus the angle XEY, which is in the opposite direction. And then in triangle, HEB, 
the three angles sum to 180 degrees but in directed angles is zero so the angle HEB is equal to the angle HEE plus the angle EHB and then because the length XZ is equal to the length ZY and it's also equal to the length EZ and DZ we have that the angle XEZ is equal to the angle ZXE moving on because the length EH is equal to the length EB and it's also equal to the length AE we have that the angle EHB is actually equal to the angle HBE so this is 2 times by the angle HBE and we add it with the angle ZXE which I will write it as angle YXE and then we can take out one of the angle of HBE and it is equal to the angle CMD since DM is the mid segment of the triangle ABC and so DM is parallel to the line AB so therefore CMD is equal to the angle HBE and we take the another angle HBE and we notice that it is equal to the angle CYX since this follows from the claim above which is BC XY is cyclic and then the angle YXE is just the angle ECM which is also by the fact that BC XY is cyclic and so now you can notice that these two angles are actually the two angles in the triangle ECM which you will get that these two angles add up into angle CDM and the angle CYX I will write it as the angle DYX and so now the angle CDM can be further rewritten as the angle ZDM plus the angle CDZ and then the angle DYX is actually minus the angle CDZ since the length DZ is equal to ZY and you can see that these two angles cancel off so we are left with this is just the angle ZDM and so we have proven the thing that we want to show so therefore this is true which means that the length HZ is equal to the length MZ and so therefore we are done